you know, a lot of people these days are interested in how do I find a mentor, mm -hmm. um, particularly women in the workplace. How did you Yeah, I feel like people, I got really lucky. I've always had like sort of an advisor in every job I've had. There's different approaches to mentorship. If you ask someone like, be my mentor, can you be my mentor? It's kind of awkward, right? Yeah. Like they're, you're not gonna have like an organic relationship like that. Um, the approach I've always taken is in any job you have, there's always someone that you're like, okay, that's the person that probably has power, control, influence, and they seem really cool or warm. Um, so I usually reach out to that person um, and start talking and listening and seeing how I can help them. I've gotten lucky though, because my bosses have always just been like, interesting, like empathetic, smart people. Nice. So I've benefited from that. Um, I think an approach that I really like that some people take is instead of having that like one mentor that's like the be all end all mentor, having like sort of a, a board of directors for yourself. So mm -hmm. if you have like a few people that you go to and you go to anytime you have a big decision. So you could say, oh, I have this former boss that I really like that's in a totally separate industry or field but they have great advice, like go to them. Mm -hmm. Someone that was a professor or teacher, a friend that you really trust that has an interesting career, either something that you do or in another industry. And then someone internal that you work with at the company, either in your own department or role or even outside of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that sometimes people build up mentors to make it this like big, enormous thing. Like, yeah. oh my God, I have to find a mentor. Yeah. If I don't, I'm not gonna succeed. It's gonna be this whole big thing. Any job you have in the world, there's always someone there that's like, you know what? I can learn from that thing mm -hmm. or that person or something, that experience that that person had. So I think it's important to just approach any experience looking for that and, and listening. And sometimes too, I notice we talk a lot to, or I talk a lot to people that are like new in their career, just starting out. So they're obsessed with like their first job, like not, what if my job isn't like at this big company, like right. forget it. Like when I get to the big company, then I'll focus on things. There are people at every job that you can learn from. So yeah. wherever you are, find a person and just reach out. Not with be my mentor, but just ask them questions about how they got where they are. Yeah, and I think you really said something interesting about reaching out to these people in influential positions mm -hmm. who seem amenable and saying, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. That's a really interesting way to form a relationship with them where you're adding value as well as them being a mentor yeah. to you. People love help, yeah. people forget that. Um, what I think is really cool, I always love when um, like we have interns in pretty often. One of the most interesting or like remarkable things to me about someone, um, like that's a, an intern that might say like, hey, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. Instead of simply coming up to someone and asking that question, kind of tracking what they might need help with and reframing the question. So I might say like, hey, what's something you don't like have time to do or focus on or what's something you're really interested in? Or I might, if I were like an intern, an intern or new in a, in a role or a position, like notice something that someone needs, come up with a plan and say, hey, how does this strike you? And get someone to react mm. to it because it, it makes it easier to get advice when it's through the lens of a project or something, something like that. Whereas sometimes it's hard to say like, hey, how can I help to someone as yeah. a general question? Does that distinction yeah, make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's great advice.